What did you learn about the nature of politics and made you a more optimistic or more pessimistic human being? What politics did teach me is that nothing is impossible. Um, I grew up uh, in the eastern part of the country, border with Mozambique. Uh, when the war of liberation started, I was a small boy, but I did see the war. And at that time, it was unthinkable that the guerrillas would be able to defeat this monolithic army uh, of people who had helicopters, cars, big cars, big guns. Um, but I, I lived to see uh, the system uh, collapse. I lived to see the people who were working from a position of disadvantage win. Um, and then when I joined the opposition, um, it was unthinkable that one day uh, President Mugabe's government can be, can be beaten. Uh, I lived to see Mugabe being beaten in 2008. And I lived to see myself actually winning an election uh, as a member of parliament, of course. But I also see the brutal, I saw the brutal side of politics. Politics without rules is a recipe of this for disaster for men. For, for, for mankind. There must be rules and these rules don't have to be necessarily written. There must be social rules that govern people. There mu we must be this, we can be this unfair but not that unfair. Um, and what I've seen is that uh, most politicians uh, go all the way to get what they want irrespective uh, of how they get it. So in the world of politics, especially Zimbabwean politics, I've seen people treat each other in the most despicable of manners. Mr. Bukabe, still president of your country, was, if I remember correctly, one of those freedom fighters to turn uh, Rhodesia into Zimbabwe and make it a free African country. He became president, he's still president already for 36 years. What did you learn about the nature of power? And I'm asking you this because our first roundtable conversation will be about what's the defect in our society. And probably the nature of power has something to do with it. George Orwell in Animal Farm uh, was very prophetic and you'd think that he wrote that with the Zimbabwe in mind. Um, the, the way the animals fight, win together, get power, um, and the way they then treat each other when the power has been begotten. Uh, I think Mr. Mugabe was a good fighter for, 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 for liberation, uh, and he did articulate the things well. Unfortunately, when, he, when we got into independence, he found the instruments of oppression used by his predecessors handy for him. He could use them to suppress dissent. And he was tempted to use these instruments. So what that teaches us about the nature of power is that you must limit it before a person gets it. The second thing is that, um, and Ironically, the British, seem, the British seem to have learned this faster. Um, it is that a good leader in war time is not necessarily a good leader in peace time. So fortunately, the British uh, had their church during the war. And I, th I, I am yet to read of a better man motivating his country to fight uh, and fight well. Yeah, a very difficult war, I suppose. To see that man at the end of that war losing an election. And I think it was a realization that you can be good in peacetime, in, in, in wartime. You may not necessarily be the best person to do the reconstruction of the country. And I think Zimbabweans in Mugabe, they forgot that.